What's going on, everybody? You know what? Back here with another YouTube video. Here today, bring you all some more Call of Duty Mobile to the channel. Last night, we had an update to the game that brought in the brand new Molten Fusion Lucky Draw that contains the AK-117 Meltdown, as well as this brand new Seraph skin. So you guys can see here their little trailer animation that they had for this draw. Pretty cool stuff we got going on. You can get an actual in-game look at the skin itself, and it does have a custom iron sight, which is pretty sick as well. So Molten Fusion Draw, we're going to go ahead and make some attempts at pulling this. I only have 4,000 CP, so I'm definitely going to have to top off a little bit if I do have to go through the entire Lucky Draw, which more than likely I'm going to have to. I think I've been doing Lucky Draw since the start of COD Mobile, and only twice have I not gotten the Legendary last, but instead second to last. <laughs> Maybe this means I'm overdue to get it on the first pull, so let's see for 30 CP if we can get it. No, but we did get the Magic Skull emote, which I think is very well in theme with the character that I've been rocking ever since it came out, and that's going to be the bus driver from Transit Ted. Anyway, let's see what we can go ahead and get here in our second attempt for 80 CP. All right, the Avatar. Nothing really too useful there. We'll continue on making our attempts. This is our third one for 120, and we got ourselves the spray, the Bloodshot spray. Cool, cool, cool. Let's move on. 300 CP. They're starting to get a little bit more pricey. And uh, we'll get ourselves the epic meltdown frag grenade. I'd be happier with that if it was a trip mine skin. You all know. Know from trip mine out here. Not using frag grenades. Trip mines are life. There we go. Contract killer calling card. I'm actually really happy that they keep adding in more epic calling cards. So I'm not too mad about that. Next attempt here is going to be 800 CP. And we got ourselves the HG40 Meltdown. Got a lot of HG40 skins that are like epic and above. But there we go. We'll add that on into our inventory and continue moving forward. We got 1300 CP for this pull. And this is going to be the last one I'll be able to afford before having to purchase CP. And we actually got the Seraph skin. So I would say this is actually pretty luck. If I was someone who didn't want just the legendary, I'd be really happy with this because we ended up getting the character before the J358 and backpack. But now that we're down to just 880 CP, I'm going to have to make a purchase. Alrighty. We got ourselves stacked up with some more CP. Let's Let's continue on with this draw for 2000 CP. Can we get the legendary skin? No, we got ourselves the backpack as expected. Next one's going to be at 2800 and more than likely will be the J358, but fingers crossed it's the 117. No, so we're going to have to actually go through the entire lucky draw as per usual. Here is the Meltdown J358 revolver and for 4700 we will get the AK-117 guaranteed in this final pull. And I'm actually really happy about this because we haven't had a legendary AK-117 since like the start of COD Mobile, since that Christmas themed one came out. And honestly, I don't use it just because of the fact that it is like holiday themed. So it's really nice to finally have one that just looks insane. I really do like this one and I believe it's also a reactive camo. So that means after a couple of kills, the skin will change in game. This is a super sick looking skin though, and I am excited to go ahead and equip it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, set ourselves up with a loadout, and I'll see you guys in just a second. And we got our loadout all set and ready to go. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is hop into a public match for our first game, see if we can drop a nuke with the 117, and then swap on over to legendary ranked matches and see if we can go ahead and catch ourselves a solo victory. So with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and find myself a matchup. And here we are hopping into a game of Raid Domination, getting our first look here at the 117 skin in game and looking around for our first kill. We got an opponent on B that our teammate is actually cleaning up. I'm just listening around right now, not finding anything. Definitely, though, the opponents are going to start spawning up, taking out our first one and getting our first kill with this new weapon. We got another one just spawning up, taking him on out. And now we are finally getting into our opponent's spawn point. I see another one. Go ahead and eliminate him as well. We get ourselves a UAV. We'll go ahead and throw that into the sky. And as you can see, once we got our third kill, the skin actually had its first reaction. And now it's a lot more, like, glowing, honestly. Looks pretty cool. But I'm super curious on seeing what the rest of the reactive variants look like so let's just keep popping off get ourselves two more kills and that'll actually react the camo a little bit more it's got like a, a glow almost now of purple and uh sort of like a lightning definitely need to get this reload before this player pushes that was good timing and we got ourselves a sam turn we'll go ahead and throw that into the sky yeah this thing looks sick right now 
And this is the final form, I'm assuming, because it's the third. And uh, we definitely have, like, a lot more of a lightning effect. It almost looks like it's an electric type of weapon. Ooh, a nice little range kill. And that will put us here on a merciless kill streak. I'm going to go ahead and hop this A flag just so we can go ahead and get this double cap going. And I got myself another UAV. We'll go ahead and throw that into the sky before I move around anywhere too far. I see we got some players down low. One shooting down my Sam turret. We'll go ahead and take him out. And dang, man, the sound effect of this weapon is actually pretty cool. Whenever you actually shoot it. I think that changes as well with like the different variants, you know, as it keeps reacting to kills. Because this sounds a lot more like deep and loud than it did before when I first started off using it. This UAV is just giving me all the intel I need. I know all these players are hanging out over here. I'm actually going to go ahead and drop down this Sam turn. And I don't want to challenge that guy at mid just because he's got the shields. This round's going to end any second now, and I'm hoping to go ahead and stay alive. That was a huge double kill to actually close out round one. We're on a ruthless kill streak. So we're just five off of that nuke. Should be able to clean it up here. Let's go ahead and push down ringside at the start of this. I'm actually going to go ahead and just drop uh, Noah from Trip Mine over here in the Zig area. Let's see what's going on. Got one player at far, far range. I'm actually not going to challenge that because I saw a second as well. And I do think that I'd be in my best interest to push up and kind of challenge like a fight more like mid-ish range. Hopefully this guy doesn't push up to this head glitch. There we go. Getting an assist on him. Staying alive though. That's the most important part. And with this UAV up, I've just got to play the spawn points, play well, and uh, rotate to head glitches. Got a couple of players that should be in front of me any second here. There we go, cleaning that one up. I got a UAV myself. We got a player over here at mid. It looks like about to start pushing towards B. I'm going to just keep hanging out over here. Stay at the head glitch, and uh, I should be able to secure this nuke nice and easy. There's one. Got another player weak. Cleaning that one on up. Got myself a counter UAV. We'll go ahead and toss that into the sky. A couple players spawning down low. They're about to start walking in front of me. There goes one. I'm going to keep rotating around, playing smart. I saw a dot over here. I think my teammate might have finally cleaned him up, so we'll just go right back to the head glitch. Take out that player jungle who was pushing me, and that will do it here for our nuke. And we're just going to keep trying to play our life, stay flawless as long as possible. I saw another player that was hanging out over there. I guess they didn't want to actually push me, so we're going to just fall back here and uh, call in this nuke. Taking a look at the radar, most of the players are actually over there at mid. So they should all be, whoa, wanting to come over towards B. There we go, getting the Noah from Trip Mine kill. And I also took that one player off of their Sparrow streak. Getting the new called in, man. Oh, clean. Let's go ahead and throw up this UAV. And I'm going to whip out the Annihilator. A couple players are spawning right here in front of me. Taking out one I'm behind a few. Right there at poolside. Awesome. We're not getting any lock-ons for some reason, but you know what? We're still hitting our shots, and that's all that matters. Let me go ahead and grab this A5. Let's get this triple cap going just to close out the game. Spotted. Whoa. Come on now. My Annihilator just does not want to work properly right now. I've got one more shot. I should be able to get a nice, easy kill. Blanking a couple of opponents. There goes one. Another one on the stairs, dead. And one more on the A flag. Actually, a player just spawned behind me. Woo! Trying to stay alive, man. Keeping this unstoppable streak going. Anybody else want to just randomly spawn up over here? Yep, one. RIP, my dude. Oh, no. I finally got taken out there at the end of the game. It's all good. That was a good first game with this 117 meltdown. We're going to go ahead and swap it on over to ranked in just a second. But, hey, we got our pub nuke first game on. Yeah, let me get that top frag. And let me show off the brand new emote as well to the entire lobby. Picking up that skull. Yeah, that really goes along well with the Ted character. This is also pretty interesting. You can see right over here that I earned myself 35 stim shots, which has something to do with the brand new event that's going on right now in game. I'm not really too familiar with it at the moment. I'm sure later on I'm going to make a video on it once I get more knowledge about it, but it has something to do with earning yourself free skins. So my best guess for now is you play well, you earn yourself some stuff. With that being said, we're going to go ahead and go back here to our lobby and swap our loadout. I'm going to, instead of using Vulture, throw on ghost and then like i had mentioned we're gonna go ahead and hop into a solo ranked game and see if we can carry the squad to a victory 
So we got ourselves some Fire Range TDM, and of course, because this is in Legendary, this is definitely going to be a challenging fight. Now, since this is TDM, I really don't care too much to see my teammates get a whole bunch of kills, but all that matters to me is that they go positive. I don't care if someone camps in a corner and goes 1-0, that is going to win us the game. Oh my god, everybody on the other team was circling me there for a second. Our final player finally connected, so we'll see what we can go ahead and do. Of course, we got our rank bonus points because this is our first match of the day. Let's see if we can catch ourselves this dub. Taking out one. Getting that double kill. Secure in the bag. We got ourselves our uh, reactive skin and our third kill of the game. Opponents are spawning back up. Let me go ahead and drop this trip mine. And I'm going to be prepared to fight a couple more players. Taking out one. I'm very weak here, so I actually want to sit in this corner and just try to regen my health. Some dude with the Cordite's out here killing it. Go ahead and take him on out. Dude was eliminating a whole lot of my players. And I know that the opponents are all still spawning up over here. They actually just called in a UAV as well, so I'm going to try to shoot that down whenever I get the opportunity to do so. I just want to clear out wood first because this is sort of where all the opponents have been, like, hanging out. There we go. Hitting the one player there with the wall bang. I'm going to go ahead and drop this trip mine. And uh, can we turn on the Cordite player? Yes, sir, we can. Nice. Still very close game, 17 to 16. I'm going to go ahead and shoot down this UAV. And I just called out enemy in sight. No one spawned up there, did they? I'm not sure. Let's go ahead and drop this UAV myself, though. I'm going to start pushing towards mid, see if we can actually put in some work with this. Although the shot car is coming for me. Nice, teammate. I was sort of trying to bait that shot car into the middle of the map so my teammate would be able to secure the kill. And that's exactly what just happened. Nothing down low, so they've got to be spawning here. Teammate getting one. Oh, and I hear a couple next to me. Go ahead and take out this guy, climb up the window, and hopefully get this one as well. Yes, sir. Big, big kills coming out of us. We got ourselves an Annihilator. I'm looking to pop it in just a second. I saw that we had an opponent over here. Teammate actually taking him out. Good news, good news. There we go. Give me that one. Anybody mid? Nothing yet. They love to push up over here on this top side. I'm going to go ahead and actually whip out the Annihilator. I need to take out this player. There we go. That's a nice double kill. We got ourselves a Goliath. This guy's sniping right here. I'm going to have to be really quick about my shot. Awesome. And my trip mine got another kill as well. We're on a merciless kill streak, so that's 10. Ooh, 11. Oh, I'll take that death because I do have my Goliath. Let me go ahead and drop this Sam turn as well, though, in a good spot. So if the opponent's calling any UAVs or any type of, like, streaks, we'll go ahead and get those shut down. I'm going to drop my Goliath. Maybe one of my teammates want it. We'll see. Nobody seems to be running towards it, so I'll go ahead and claim it myself. Don't want the opponents to have that. That's a big no-no. We got just 10 kills here until the match is closed out, so we should be able to secure this win, especially if the opponents keep spawning down low on me. Dang, just like that, we're actually only six kills away. We got another UAV online. This is looking real good. Player in mid. Cordite players spraying them up, taking them on out. And this game is looking like it's going to be a nice and easy victory. Oh, this guy just decided he wanted to spray at me for some reason. He wanted death. He wanted death. Let me see if I can go ahead and spray through the wall here. Get final kill. Nope, but I did just watch Don go ahead and secure that. That's going to do it here. 50 to 31. Nice and easy, man. First game on back to back. We got ourselves the nuke and we got ourselves the victory. My man Don was just spraying like crazy. GG's, dude. That was a good match. And we got that MVP title as well. Showing off the emote again. Love to see it. Oh, my teammate Nuclear Lag has one as well. Sick, dude. Yeah, close it up. <laughs> Plus 60 ranked points. That's nice. And again, that weird time, three minutes, minus three. I, I don't quite understand it. I'll, I'll make a video covering it at some point. But for now, <laughs> that's confusing to me. But there we are getting ourselves a 17 kill TDM victory in a legendary ranked. Thank you all so much for tuning in here to today's video of me showcasing the brand new AK-117 Meltdown Legendary. I know I haven't really been doing too much as far as video content goes. I've been primarily focused on streaming as of late. Of course, if you guys do want to catch the live streams, I've been live every day on Noah from YouTube Live, which is a YouTube channel, and then Trovo.live slash Noah, which is sort of like my primary live streaming platform as of now. With that being said, that is going to go ahead and do it here for the video. Once again, thank you all so much for watching, and I'm out.